Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I wanted to talk about my all-natural, non-toxic, sustainable living laundry routine. So for anybody who's trying to live more of a healthy lifestyle, you know, natural living, reducing your body's toxic burden, you're gonna wanna think about what kind of products you're using around your house and on yourself, and that includes the laundry. If there are videos that you would like me to do and ideas for video topics that you have, please leave me a comment and let me know. I love getting your video topic suggestions. So over the years, I have kind of come up with some tips and tricks to make uh, an all natural laundry routine work really well. So I'm gonna share some of those with you today. First, I'll talk about the products that I use for washing laundry. So the, I have used quite a few different all natural detergents and a lot of them did not work very well for me, but this one does work fantastic. It's called Boulder Clean. I don't know how widely available it is around the country. I think it's pretty widely available. Hopefully I'm right, but it is amazing for an all natural plant-based, you know, chemical free detergent. And when I mean chemical free, I mean a lot of, even the free and clear versions of the big name laundry detergents like Tide or I don't even remember what they are, but you know, the main companies will Arm & Hammer. They'll have a, a free and clear version that they say has no dyes and no fragrances and that's great, but what they don't talk about is that there's still other stuff in laundry detergent that's not the greatest for you and one of those is optical brighteners. So it's some type of chemical. I'm not an expert on it, but I'm just aware of it. It's some kind of chemical that goes in and makes colors brighter and especially whites look a lot whiter. So it's something that stays on your laundry. So I don't want any unnecessary chemicals around me. So I try to specifically look for products that don't have chemicals like that in them. So this is definitely one that fits the bill. It's clean, pure, non-toxic, gentle, and it works really well. The other thing that I use when I do laundry is borax. Now, this is gonna depend a lot on where you live, whether or not you need borax. The reason why I use it is because it softens hard water. So the minerals that are in hard water prevent the more natural plant-based detergents from really cleaning very well. So you need something to kind of neutralize that and that's what the borax does, is softens the water so that the detergent can work properly. So I used to live in Washington and I guess we had sort of hard water there, but it wasn't bad enough to where the natural detergents wouldn't still work okay. And then I moved to Colorado and I was like, why are my whites so dingy looking? Why does nothing look very clean? And I couldn't figure it out for a while until I did some research and I figured out that I needed to soften my water. Switching to a different detergent helped a lot too. This one worked a lot better than the other ones that I was using, but then softening the water took it to the whole next step and made it work a lot better. A website that I found really helpful is called Fluff Love University. It's all about cloth diapers, which I do use too, but I found it really helpful for just any laundry in general, because they helped you figure out, you know, how hard is your water, how much detergent should you, you be using for loads to really work well, how much borax do you need based on your water hardness, all that kind of thing. So all the information that you need to know to get great results with a completely all natural, non-toxic laundry routine. Those are my main things that I use when I'm washing any of my clothes. And then another thing is this essential oil stain remover. So it uses lemon essential oil and a few other ingredients as a very effective stain remover. So I'll use this to spot treat anything that I need to before I put it in the washing machine. I have a whole video where I show how to make this and I'll link that below. For whitening and dealing with some other types of stains, I like adding some hydrogen peroxide to my laundry sometimes. I try to stay away from using bleach too much just because that's not the most natural option either. But I find that these options work really well. In the video where I talk about making your own essential oil stain remover, I have a bunch of tips about how to get rid of different kinds of laundry stains naturally. So you, if you're interested in that, definitely check that out. Another item that I really like for laundry is wool dryer balls. I used to have a set of six that I used for the longest time and then we recently had a mishap and those are now gone. I need to get another set so I don't have them here in the video because I haven't ordered another set yet. 
but I do really love those. They work as like a natural version of dryer sheets. You can add some drops of essential oils on them if you want to make your laundry smell nice. They help reduce static and they also help reduce the time that it takes to dry your laundry. So it can really help cut down on that, on you know energy for drying laundry. Speaking of drying laundry, I do love hanging laundry outside to dry. Using natural sunlight and fresh air to dry clothes, that's a great way to dry your laundry very naturally. As far as a laundry washing routine, there's nothing too exciting really about that, but I'll just go over it in case you're interested. I do a really simple version where I sort out my darks, my whites that I want to wash on hot water, and then anything that's more delicate that needs more of a gentle cycle. And then I do all my darks together, and then I do a load of all my whites on hot water, and then I'll do the darks on like a cooler temperature water, and then I'll do my delicate stuff on cold, usually like a hand wash cycle. I'll hang up a lot of those to dry. Depending on the time of the year, I'll either put the other clothes in the dryer or hang them up, either way. And that's pretty much it. So pretty simple, but I did want to share what I had learned about my products that I use for washing laundry. I know that there are a lot of DIY laundry detergents out there, and that's something that I personally have not gotten into yet. Um, I've read a lot of different things and heard different things about the DIY versions not uh, being good for your washing machine. And I guess I was a little leery about that, and I found one that I liked that was already made. Uh, saves time, it's easy. So that's just one thing that I haven't really been DIYing, but that could always change. I could maybe look into it and experiment and come up with something I really like. So if I do, of course, I'll be sure to share it with you. But for right now, this is what I've been doing. Be sure and check out the video where I show you how to make this essential oil stain remover spray and also talk about natural ways to remove lots of different laundry stains. I'll have that link below if you want to check it out. I'll have links down in the description box below where you can find this particular detergent to buy as well as borax. Also check out that description box for free ebooks and other goodies. Okay, I hope that you liked seeing my all natural non-toxic laundry routine. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else who you think would like to learn about non-toxic laundry. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.